Okay, I'm going to talk to you about GMRS radios, FRS radios, and handheld ham radio walkie-talkie. And these can all talk to each other, folks. That's what's kind of cool. They can all talk to each other, and we're going to have links down below that explain how to do all of this, because this was my first time playing around with these radios and getting them to all talk with each other. And... One thing you have to do is you have to be able to do some programming. And the Odemaster app, OD Master, I guess is how it's pronounced, app is the way to do it. If you have a Mac computer, uh, this works with an iOS app. And if it is compatible with your radio, you can use this to do some programming on your radio. And so this might be something that you're going to need. Again, links are going to be down below on how to use all these items, individual videos that I've put together. So this is going to be a comprehensive resource on all the things I'm talking about if you include the YouTube links. And a big shout out to Not a Rubicon Productions. I used a couple of his videos and I used some other videos. And so... Uh, give those guys all a subscribe. Uh, the videos are down below in the description. <clears throat> but what you're going to learn is with some of these radios, they come with codes programmed in so that they're, they're like sort of like privacy codes, but they're not really private. Again, not a Rubicon Productions has a video explaining all that. But the 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 short story is some of these radios will not talk to each other because They've got these codes enabled. I have a video for my, my Redivis uh, walkie-talkies that came with these codes. Uh, the gentleman put together a video that showed very easily how to remove those codes. So I removed them on channels uh, 5, uh, 20, and 14 so that now I know if I'm out and about with other folks that have other radios, I'll be able to communicate with them if they don't have the codes enabled on their radios. And so the other thing you need to do on the walkie-talkie, the ham radio, by default, it won't broadcast on, for example, uh, uh, the uh, GMRS frequencies and so on. And But there's a, a quick little reset that you can do that, again, the video below by Not a Rubicon Productions that shows how you can do a quick reset on that radio and then you can uh, put in any frequency you want that's within its frequency range, and you can transmit and receive, which really gives you versatility uh, if you want to use that radio to the max. And in an emergency situation, <clears throat> you can broadcast on any frequency with any radio. I mean, it, uh, 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 an emergency trumps everything else, right? That's, that's kind of the point of having these radios sometimes is everything else is down and not operational and you've got an issue and it's if it's a legitimate emergency you can transmit on these radios to help resolve the issue so there's um, a quick little overview all the links are down below to explain how to do all the things I've talked about I can't include everything in this video it would be impossible but this together with the links down below you should be off to a very good start Hope you enjoy your radios.